Hi, it's Mr. Colley, and in this Scratch tutorial, we're looking at making a start screen, introduction screen for your game. Um, before we actually do any scripting, I'm just going to show you what I've set up. I've made a sprite called Play Button, which is there, and on the stage, I've made two different backgrounds one called my start screen, and one which is the game screen. If you're going to have more than one level, you're going to need to make backgrounds for each one. So I'll just call this game screen so I don't get confused. Um, right, so we've got our sprites here. I've left Scratch the Cat on to show you a problem that you might have that you can fix later on. Um, but what we're going to do is basically, before we start clicking things, is we're going to make sure that at the start of the game, this screen, our game screen, looks like we want it to. So, on scripts for the stage, when the green flag is clicked, I want my stage to switch to the background start screen. So it'll go to this background every time I click the green flag. I also, when the green flag is clicked at the very start, I want scratch the cat to hide. I don't want him on there on this screen and likewise with my play button I want that on my first screen so when the green flag is clicked I want that to show there we go so let's see if that works I'll just flick over to my game screen so what should happen is when I click the green flag this should flick to the um, white background and scratch should disappear there we go right then so now we need to use a command called broadcast for our play button. And we want our play button when it is clicked to broadcast, which is a bit like a shouted instruction really. And we don't have a broadcast yet, so I'm going to set up a new one and I'm going to call that play game. Okay. <clears throat> I also, after my play button, has broadcast the play game, I want it to disappear. So I'm going to tell it to hide. Now what I do is I tell my stage and my sprite what to do when they hear this play game command, this broadcast. So on my stage, when I receive play game, there we go, looks, switch to background, game screen. And for scratch the cat, when I receive play game, I'm going to tell him to go to, if I can just show him there by right clicking, I'm going to tell him to go to the middle at the bottom here, so that'll be x equals 0, y equals minus 118. x is 0, minus 107, well, that's where he is at the moment, so that's roughly about right. So when I receive play game, go to there, and then show. So Scratch will always start from this position. Um, if I show you what I mean, if I'll put Scratch up there, I'll click the green flag and he will disappear. There we go. Now I shall be able to click my play button, the background should change, Scratch should appear here and this button should disappear. There we go. That's how to put an introduction screen into your game using broadcasts. It's a very similar technique to you to do for a game over screen and again for different levels. So go and have a go.